Tussle between the UK and Rwanda's governments after Rwanda refuses to refund the over $282 million it received from the previous Rishi Sunak government. New Prime Minister Keir Starmer has called the Rwanda plan dead and buried. First meeting of the UK's shadow cabinet, mired in chaos. Shadow Housing Secretary Kemi Badenoch rips into former PM Rishi Sunak over election blunders, blames Sunak for many Tory leaders losing their seats. Russia claims the missile that hit a children's hospital in Kyiv was lightly fired by a Norway-supplied air defence system. Russia's UN envoy says the Kremlin is awaiting a reaction from the Norwegian government. That India is a strategic partner with whom we engage in full and frank dialogue, including their relationship with Russia. Uh, yeah. United States will continue to view India as a strategic partner and have robust dialogue with the country, says the Pentagon, as Prime Minister Narendra Modi concludes his Russia visit, to which the Joe Biden administration has expressed its concerns. New top US envoy to Taiwan, Raymond Green, pledges Washington's defence help to the island amid China's rising military threats. Taiwan's defence ministry said it detected at least 37 Chinese military jets earlier today, flying south and southeast of the island. Massive landslide on Patel Ganja River in Chamoli district in India's Uttarakhand state amid heavy rains. It happened above the Patalanga Lagsi tunnel on the Badarinth National Highway. <laughs>